गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर्स ऑफ अकाउंटिंग फाइव विच इज द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ सेमेस्टर फाइव टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द चैप्टर दैट इज ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्टिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज द ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्टिंग इन सेमेस्टर थ्री और फोर वी ऑलरेडी स्टडी द कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग विच इज द बेस विच आर द मैथड ऑफ कॉस्टिंग in which we learn various chapters like unit costing in unit costing we are aware about the cost of production and per unit cost of production industries or manufacturing industries then after constructions of bridges and some of the big buildings for which the contract costing we are using jem ke mota mota building banava hoy bridge banao ena mate apne contract costing use karta tha then after for as and when the requirement of customer and they give the order and that particular order prepared by the manufacturing company is known as job costing this all are the method of costing same as the operating costing is also the method of costing but difference is that the operating costing is for the service provider industries not for the manufacturing industries means what the operating costing is the method of costing to establish the cost or to find out the cost for the service industries so which type of service industries are available transportation industries hotel hospital and theater this all are rendered the service to the customers so how to find out the cost for the rendering a services so in transportation company you all know that the transport company just take a tickets or rent from the passengers so how this particular rent will be decided a ticket price kai rite decide karvi ena mate operating costing ni method through e loko find out karta hoy che jem ke ena units of cost che passenger kilometers and turn kilometers this chapter operating costing for the transportation we already studied in s way okay now in this chapter we how to study this hotel hospital and theater how to find out the cost on the basis of the operating costing or using the method of operating costing the second name of operating costing is also known as the service costing because your service provider industries je che e loko kai rite emna rent डिसाइड करे एम आ चेप्टर है सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल होटेल इंडस्ट्रीज तो इन होटेल इंडस्ट्रीज वे हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द रूम रेन्ट पर डे के चलो कोई भी टूरिस्ट आया होने जो कहींप होटल रेन्ट पर आप हो तो हाउ मच रेन्ट ऑफ वन डे तो एम कॉस्ट ऑफ यूनिट शू हो रूम डेज मीन्स वॉट के इन द मंथ और इन द यर हाउ मेनी रूम्स यूज हाउ मेनी डेज कितना रूम यूज थे के दिवसों ऑन देट बेजिज दे आर फाइंडिंग आउट द रूम डेज नाउ इन हॉस्पिटल्स हॉस्पिटल्स मे बी सेम हाउ मेनी बेड्स आर यूटिलाइज इन विच पेशन डेज और बेड डेज बोथ आर यूटिलाइज देन आफ्टर थीएटर तो हाउ मेनी शोज पर डे हाउ मेनी सीट्स फ्रॉम ऑफ द टोटल सीट्स हाउ मेनी सीट्स ऑक्युपाइड एंड how many shows on that basis they are finding out the main shows these are the unit of cost and after finding out the unit of cost they decided the rent tickets etc etc once again operating costing means the method of costing for establishing the cost for the service provider industries today in this lecture we have to study only and only the operating cost for the hotel industries in which we have to take a simple example for the hotel industries in hotel industries which type of expenses are there so for the rendering services in which particulars all the sundries expense like a staff electricity swimming pool expense ex extra any services depreciation on assets are included 
so we have to take a simple example for digesting the idea the sum number 12 please concentrate in the book sum number 12 you see there are 125 rooms in same type in the hotel silver palace they just specified in a book okay 125 same types of room because there are various type of rooms are available in hotel ac non ac single double deluxe etc etc so here in this sum only and only same type of rooms are available following information is found in its passenger registration for the june 2008 means these in these sums we have to calculate the cost sheet operating cost sheet only and only for the june 2008 all the ex then after uses of rooms and number of days are given means what okay how many rooms are used and how many days on the basis of the use of room and number of days we have to find out room days which is the unit cost of operating costing for the hotel industries then after in each room one bed per passenger is given and following are the expenses in which staff salaries electricity expense administrative expense publicity expense other expense are there and specific instructions is given for june 2008 only so these all are given for the one month that is june the total depreciation on assets building vehicle computer furniture is calculated 180000 annually room rent is fixed in such a manner that profit of 60% on room rent income is earned so how they find out the profit the profit is earned on the room rent available or total income available not on the basis of the cost so let's start the sum first of all always we have find out the unit of cost that is the room days for the hotel industries i told earlier that okay, this is a simple sum for digesting the idea so calculation also the simple here the use of room and number of days are given in the books so we have to multiply the use of rooms with the number of days and find out the room days so here 125 rooms for the 5 days 115 room for the 6 days 110 rooms for the 4 days 100 room for the 6 days 81 room for the 5 days and 60 room for the 4 days so total room days we are finding out that is 3000 room days once again here is the instructions is given that is uses of room and number of days how many rooms uses for how many days after multiplying the uses of room with the number of days we are finding out the total room days for the month of june understood now next step is to prepare the cost sheet operating cost sheet for the particular hotel here operating cost sheet of hotel silver palace for the june 2008 which hotel hotel silver palace so we have to mention the title in this way okay, operating cost sheet of hotel silver palace for the june 2008 understood then after we have to prepare in this way the particular cost sheet in which particulars and amount are there then after what are the expenses given in a book we have to write first one is staff salary that is 15000 electricity expense which is 20000 administrative expense 10000 consumable items 23000 publicity expense 7150 swimming pool expense 9850 other expense 
up to the other expense this all expense already given in a book only for the month of june 2008 but now concentrate in the instructions of depreciation of assets you see the depreciation on assets is given 1 lakh 80000 annually but we are preparing the cost sheet only and only for the one month june and this amount of depreciation is given annually so to finding out the one month depreciation 180 divide by 12 month so easily find out the one month depreciation that is 15000 understood all the expenses given for the hotel serial payers we have put in the cost sheet then after adjustments we have to put now after totaling all the expenses we are receiving the total cost that is 1 lakh 20000 so total cost will be 1 lakh 20000 for the profit we have instructions specific instructions is given in a book you once again concentrate in a book the room rent is fixed room rent means rent means a uh, cost plus profit then after they finding out the rent so room rent is fixed in such a manner that the profit of 60% of room rent is earned means what that they have to earn the profit 60% on income but we have no income we have only and only cost so after assuming and after putting in the equation given instruction we are finding out the profit so for that next calculation calculation of profit is there so on what basis percentage of profit is given on income basis so we have to assume income that is assume income is 100 understood now profit is on the basis of income so profit 60% on income that is 100 multiplied by 60% that is 60 from of the total income we have to deduct the profit so we are receiving cost so we are receiving cost once again i repeat that is the total income we have to assume 100 profit on the basis of income that is 60% we have to deduct from the income and we are receiving the cost so we have also the total cost so after putting this two in our equation we are easily find out the profit you see the cost that is 40 we are arriving on the basis of the assumption so at that time the assuming profit is 60 so cost 40 at that time assuming profit will be 60 but we have a total cost in our cost sheet that is 1 lakh 20000 so 40 cost at that time 1 lakh 10 20000 is total cost so what should be the profit at 60 so after putting this things in our equation we are finding out the profit that is 1 lakh 80000 rupees once again after putting the assuming figure with the actual figure in a equation we are finding out the profit that is 1 lakh 80000 once again come to the cost sheet so total cost 120 then after we are already finding out the profit specified in a working note that is 1 lakh 80000 so cost plus profit we are arriving the total income and total income rent that is the 3 lakhs rupees means after adding the profit the company have to earn rupees 3 lakhs and our last question they just want to know the rent per day per room means what ke this hotel silver palace how much take rent for the passengers means for the tourist ke how much rent they just take a charge for the one day one room so for last step of this sum is calculation of rent per day per room how to calculate the rent per day per room is equal to 
total income expenses plus profit total income so total income divided by so how many room days total income divided by room days we are already finding out in our first step that is room days 3000 so total income divided by room days so 3 lakhs total income divided by 3000 room days and we are arriving rupees 100 which is the rent per day per room means ek divas nu ek room nu bhadu ke je hotel silver palace emna tourist ke passengers pase thi lese e che rupees 100 once again for the calculating the sum in the operating costing first of all we have find out the unit of cost here the hotel related sums are there so we have to first finding out the room days your simple sum so already use of room and number of days is given so after multiplying these two we are finding out the room days all the instructions for the expenses are given we have to put in the cost sheet after adding all the expense we are receiving a total cost and then after profit instructions is given on the basis of income so we have to make a calculation and finding out the profit after putting the profit in the cost sheet we are receiving the total income and then after final answer is rent per day per room so after deducting the total income after dividing the total income by the room days we are finding out the per day rent for per room I hope you all are understood very well. Thank you so much.